Hey, good morning. Good morning, good morning. It's July 15th, 2022, and we're going to do some Summer Wells Reward Fund math. I want to thank Everyday Shenanigans. This is one tough cookie. She took on the Herculean task of moderating a debate to get to the bottom of what Fiona O'Connor is charging in her court filing and naming Q Carlock, among others. However, she has great control over her panel and is not afraid to mute you if you decide to talk over somebody else, thereby negating an answer to a question. So, I'm going to provide you lots of links, a ton of links to everything in this broadcast of mine, including her three-hour live and all the financial links. I just want to remind you from a couple episodes back of the first announcement I found of the reward fund, and this is just the highlighted paragraph saying that Churchill Rescue Squad Incorporated had established the fund and where you could make deposits. I also want to remind you that on September 1st, 2021, Slater Teague reported for WJHL that the Summer Wealth Reward Fund had surpassed $38,000. Here's the math. $3,295 donated at the bank and two checks worth a combined $35,000. Now this $3,295 includes the check for $2,000 from Trevor, a student. So the total was actually $1,295 by um, small donations received at Civis Bank as of September 1st, 2021. So here's the breakdown up to September 1st, 2021. $25,000 with stipulations not in play. $10,000 reserved, the check was never cashed, and it was returned. So, as was the previous owner's check. Next, $2,000 from a student named Trevor. It's still in the fund, two to be determined by a judge. And finally, $1,295 in small donations received as of September 1st by Civis Now Thread Bank. On December 10th, 2021, WJHL ran this headline under the local news banner. Summer Wells Reward Fund reaches nearly $74,000. And that was posted on December 10th, 2021 and updated at almost midnight that same day. Uh, this video pop-up. There's nothing I can do about it uh, at this point. Hawkins County WJHL Reward Fund for missing Hawkins County five-year-old Summer Wells has increased to almost $74,000. And uh, it goes on to say this new record comes shortly after the reward fund topped 70000 in November. I'm not going to read all this stuff, but I will show you. This is the article where the famous donor list came from. And we're going to look at this donor list in a little more detail. This is that same list that we just saw, but I broke it in half. Up to September 1st, you can see the two checks and the fact that they were held by the individual, although... It's been later reported that they were actually returned to the individuals. And then you can see Trevor's donation. And then you can see that from the 7th of September on, there are other totals. The first one being a $2,000 donation prior to the marathon. From there, you see the three wire transfer deposits made on behalf of us, the public, from Q Carlock from the fundraising we did. There were four companies involved in payouts. The first one was Cash App. The second one was PayPal, who held the funds for about 30 days to have, make sure they cleared. And then the last one was Super Chats from YouTube, who also held funds 
for about 30 days as is their standard payout practice to all YouTubers whenever Super Chats are paid into a creator's account. One of those deposits also included total sales from the Summer Wells collection merchandise. I don't remember which one, but I'm going to leave you the payout playlist from Q Carlock and you can look it up yourself. I want you to take special notice of that grand total $73,705.90 published on December 10th, 2021. On January 18th, 2022, Murray Lee posted an update on the Summer Wells Fund from Churchill Rescue Squad. Churchill Rescue Squad addresses rumors about Summer Wells Reward Fund. And we have the video over topping us again. Churchill, Tennessee, WJHL Churchill Rescue Squad said on Monday that the reward fund for information on Summer Wells remains. Note this just short the fund just short of $74,000 took the opportunity to address rumors about the fund. So those rumors and where they originated from in Britain have a long history with regard to the reward fund. A post from the rescue squad states that as of Monday, which would have been the 17th, of January, the fund sits at a total of 73705 That is the same total reported on December 10th, 2021. There have been some questions raised in regards to... And one more clip. We have been advised to and will be paying the reward fund money to the court. Ask them to determine the proper resolution of the matter. Upon advice of counsel, that is all I can say at this time. What court is that? This is the statement that I'm making. At this time, it will be turned over to the court and ask them to determine the proper resolution of the matter. The money is still in the account at this time. That's what Tim Coop said, and that's where it sits with Threadbank, formerly Civis Bank, to date. There's a four week publication mandate by the court where Hugh Carlock, Fiona O'Connor, the Child Advocacy Center and other interested parties are requested to review the information and respond to the court. This is a screenshot of the Summer Wells Marathon playlist put together by Miss Q. All of the documentation, 40 videos worth is in that playlist. Please go check the facts for yourself. See if the deposits we looked at actually were recorded as being deposited. Are there wire transfer receipts? Did the marathon hosts actually post Civis Bank information, the direct donation information, the address, and so forth? Please go watch. I've just given you three examples from the marathon episode on Scott H's channel that ran October 9th. How do you know they're different examples? Stop the screen and look at the timestamps. That's it for this episode. I hope that puts some of the controversy to rest. Thanks so much for joining me. God bless you and I'll see you real soon. I have not forgotten what day it is. It is 13 months since Summer Wells disappeared on June 15, 2021. And in keeping with that spirit, I would really like it if you would go and watch the video that I produced for her one year anniversary, which still sounds weird to say in my opinion. Nevertheless, to date, this video has only gotten 107 views. Other videos of mine have topped a thousand. It makes me kind of sad that a video that shows her in her best light and imagines who she could be someday 
only gets 107 views. I don't care that the video itself didn't do as well as some others. What I care about is that this is a video that shows her to be who we want to imagine she is, and nobody seems to care. God bless. See you soon.